what's happening with my subscribers, man? What's happening? So, I'm man, I've been seeing the numbers going crazy, man. I'm ta they tapping in from everywhere. I had somebody from London hit me up. Swoop, whoop, they got bloods in London. Yes, they do. But uh, I, I was talking to somebody, and, and you know what? I figured there's a way to put this out there, but not put it out there. So I'm about to give it my best attempt at doing such. This video right here, man, this shit is about cut. Cut. What does it mean when somebody says they cut? Or are you cut? What does it mean? So, what cut is this? Cut means that you are part of another entity or organization that has the authority to tell you what to do. If they say you got to go, you got to go. If they say you got to go put in work, you got to put in work. You no longer belong to your car. If you was from Sacramento and you got you were, you became cut, that means you part you belong to them now. Whatever organization it is that's not from where you from, you now belong to them. Because why would a car want to have you a part of it? Even though you might have grew up with these dudes and you might have you might have broke bread with these dudes from the streets, know them. But while you in prison and they cut, that means that as cool as y'all is, he belonged to them. So that's why it's it, like when I came to prison, it was kind of our duty to identify who's cut, who's cut because they was like torpedoes and being bloods. We have a couple of, I mean, it's a couple of, um, a couple of cuts. That's, that's that they're not from Sacramento. They from LA. So they were just LA. So if somebody from Sacramento was cut, with one of their with one of their entities, then you belong to them. You belong to them. That's how it go. So now I'm about to tell y'all about one of my homies. I ain't gonna say his name, but I'm gonna tell I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a story about how serious this shit is. So this story right here, check how this go. So the homie, we gonna call him. B. So the homie B, right? The homie B was a fuck up, but he got caught with like a weapon and went to the hole, kept picked up some time and went to a 180 yard. Like I said, 180 yard is if you catch a shootable offense, they want you to do three years 180 design yard before they allow you to go to a 270 or a level three, if, unless your if your points ain't already level three. So, let me put this seat up. So anyhow, he gets out the yard. He on this, he on this, bees on this yard with these bloods, and they really like, really with the shit, and they pushing all bloods together. Meaning like, so what? We cut. We all pushing together. That's how we push it. So B is feeling the love. He feeling the love. He probably felt more love than he felt from the sack homies, because they pushing it. You know these niggas got your back. I mean that's how it is. I felt that too. So, next to you know, be in the day room, right? He in the day room. Day room go down. Motherfuckers fighting or whatever, but the day room go down. B got banger on him. He got straight banger on him. So when they when he tried to prone out, I guess it was kind of like poking him in his side, right? So the police, he kind of kicked, he kind of kicked B like bam. So when when he kicked B and he kind of bounced up a little bit. B jump up and take off on the police. Bam! When he hit the police, all the bloods in the day room got activated. All of them. I'm talking about bloods was coming out the shower, asshole naked getting on police. It was serious. So, I mean, the police came in. They probably beat they probably beat some of the homies up and all that shit. But the homies is in the hole now. The homies is in the hole. Deep, though, because of that shit. So, I guess B was kind of feeling like, damn, 
Man, the homies then took off. You know, the homies then they rolled with me and shit. So, so when you decide to get cut, it's called coming on home. So I guess he, I guess B felt like he needed to come on home. So he got at somebody that is from Sacramento, and I'm telling you, it's a rarity. He got at somebody that was from Sacramento that was cut and told him he wanted to come on home. So. Next thing you know, now you belong to them. You know, B is no longer part of the sack car like that. He now belongs to the cut homies, basically. So, <coughs> time goes on, and B is still in the hole. And a lot of those, a lot of those comrades that was with him, now they didn't moved on, and now it's hella sack homies in the hole. So B strike up a kite to. My Sally, right? And he like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, I got at the homie that, that brought him in. He got at the homie that brought him in that he said, I want to come out home and said, I don't want to be it no more. So he gave the papers back. He gave the papers back. So now B is no longer cut. He's with the homies, right? So he thought. So now fast forward, that kite comes. That kite say, man. This, the general, the general from L.A., blood, he a blood from Bonnie Hunter, the general was like, hey, you have now been reinstated. <laughs> you was cut. Now you thought you wasn't off? <coughs> Reality check. Once you sign your name on that paper or you take that oath, you belong to them always. So he came and he made a, G, a general call. Man. He belonged to me. That's my comrade right there. And y'all can't do nothing about it. Man, me and my celly looked at each other and was like, show the fuck can't. Shit. He signed on. But I felt, I always felt where B was coming from. And I got that, I got, I still got respect for B, man. Because I understand. But that's what cut is. Now, you got the Bay Area. They have a couple of organizations, you know, a few more. But I'm talking about the the like the the top of the food chain organizations because it sprinkles down, and then like LA, like uh, uh uh and then you got Crips. They had you can be a Crip and be cut too, but you know there's there's like there's is like it's a little bit more intricate because it'd be more involved. Like because a lot of Crips from Sacramento. Day in C, which means you cut. Now I'm cutting. But on some real shit, it's not like it was. Like before, a lot of stuff is cut now and everything is like mixed up and mashed. So, I mean, that everything evolves. Everything evolves. So, like, I'm going to give you an example. Bloods, uh, in general, came hit Sacramento in the early 80s. And lasted all the way until like 95 96 where where matter of fact we can go 94 because it was a click called dog pound but aside from that when click started came coming that was the beginning of cut that was the beginning of cut so bloods untampered lasted in sacramento probably about uh, we're going to say 13 years, 80, 81, 91. No, we're going to say about 15 years. I tampered with, <coughs> but cut has been around longer than that. That's just how it is. People that are in like in Sacramento that are cut, they've been in existence longer than bloods were on tampered with. Like when we were just original bloods. <clears throat> that's cut. I'm speaking on my city right now, but it's different. It, this evolution right here took place in a lot of cities. I mean, everywhere. Because like I said, everything evolves. Everything evolves. Who knows what will come after that. But still, to the original, original people from my city, original bloods, whether you are Oak Park blood, a Del Paso Heights blood, a Meadowview blood, a Lama Verde Pyru, a Valley High Pyru, original, then 
Do you not cut? But once you add the other stuff, you cut. I'm